Hey guys, welcome back to the VidBits. I'm Bray. I'm Brian. And today we're going to be playing some Nocturne Toten. Man, this is many people's first experience with Call of Duty Zombies, uh, because after you beat the World at War campaign, it just loaded you up right into zombies. No questions asked, and a lot of people, I'm sure, were pretty freaked out. I'm pretty insanely jealous that you got to like go through a campaign and then go into like a mode that was like inspired to like the end of a campaign that's really cool yeah it's like an easter egg literally just for beating it like and they didn't want him to do it the guy okay so essentially the ray gun was first made for a call of duty campaign mission and it was inserted into this like i think it was like a uh storming a beach kind of scene and you had to do some step in some puddles in a specific order and it would give you the ray gun that same guy went on to make the zombies mode but they were so mad that he included that ray gun they were just so mad they're like you're ruining the historical accuracy of the game and then meanwhile they end up making zombies well, like the fact that funnily about that then is because zombies whole point of those maps is there's easter eggs in it and for the ray gun to be an easter egg in the main mode yeah, that's kind of cool an easter egg literally brought zombies into existence like man well because to me Zombies is kind of similar to the campaign, but I'm not having to kill real people and the gameplay is just better. Right. The zombie AI is better than the the in-game campaign AI in my opinion. I mean, like they track to you and there's just so many mechanics to keep up with whereas like Call of Duty campaigns tend to be kind of bland. I mean, not all of them. There are some really great ones, don't get me wrong, like but Especially as the series went on, the campaigns just got worse and worse, and they just stopped caring. Like, not that the campaign was ever what I bought the game for, but they just, it eventually became like a non-priority, so much so to the point where they removed it entirely for one iteration, like. I personally am only interested in this because of this mode. I don't really want to play hyper-realistic warfare games. I prefer a lot of my first-person shooters to be more of the sci-fi themed and, and supernatural themed, so this is right up my alley because of this. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's honestly a big appeal for me too. Uh, I did like playing multiplayer, and but it was never like my jam. I've said this in the past, like my friends would be putting so much time into learning how to quickscope or learning the best time to kill guns and I'm over here striving to get some high rounds like that's what I wanted I didn't want to to just know life multiplayer well when I never played this game I do know lots of people that were playing it very into it as it was progressing and the whole thing about the culture of this game was the number you know when you played this map it wasn't about anything other than what's the number how many rounds can you get to and it was hard for me to understand like how can you play a game where literally the only point is to see how high that number is but like it's nothing more than akin to older arcade games where you're trying to get it to is, specific it like, is kind of an arcade style mode yeah yeah i didn't even think about like that it is like an arcade shooter kind of i mean and you think that there's still to this day people that try to play those older arcade games and do marathon sessions to see how many hours they can last or how many rounds they can make it so it's the same thing really it's like a badge of honor to say i made it to round 25 or i made it to round 40 yeah, it's insane how long high rounds take. Like, some of them are literally, like, 8 to 10 hours for a round 100. Like, is that worth it? Hey, there's got to be, like, mental and physical stress and fatigue associated with those attempts. Like, we, uh, in the area that we live, they there's a... Uh, there's a regionally there's this place that had this competition for pinball recently where a person was trying to set the world record and they fatigued out at level 40 or 37 hour 37 because of just um, stomach pain and stomach cramps because of having to consume something during the course of trying to stay up in the competition so you're assuming when you're doing these marathon sessions especially in this game like how are they like staying you know they're probably eating protein bars and trying to not overhydrate because they can't really get up and use the restroom and stuff like that so yeah literally like little snacky type things just to fill yourself up to keep yourself going i mean didn't yeah. i see somebody get like in one of these zombies games getting the thousands of rounds thousands of rounds? yeah there are certain ways to either glitch or kind of abuse the system what's that uh garbage that I, oh god! I picked it's it up. better than better than the starting pistol. Okay. <laughs> but as far as guns go, like if you have a good gun, don't replace it with the gorgon. Got you. I said that when we played Shadows of Evil too. That's true. You got it two times in a row when oh, we were man. playing that. 
That's all right. You said it's better than the starting pistol, so... Yeah, it is indeed better than the starting pistol. It's just not better than, like, the vast majority of but guns. But, yeah, going back to this person that was attempting those pinball records, you know, he's fatigued and everything, so it's just, like, it's the same type of thing where we have somebody in the modern time trying to play something in a marathon style that, in order to attain what would be considered the world record, they are putting themselves in mental and physical harm to try to do these things because of how long these records have, so it's, like... Sometimes it sucks that your skill can be really high, but then there's like a body or a threshold that you may not have full control over. Well, that I mean, you can, you know, after to. so long staring at the same thing, you start hallucinating. I bet. Even if it's not like big things, like it, it could just be like a little delay in your input. Like you're just like so mesmerized that you're playing still and you're like, oh, and you just kind of forget to do something. Like it's that simple. Training zombies in your in your sleep, like literally after, after you've done with your like, say you went for hours and hours, or even over. A oh day. yeah, you might as well be asleep. Like as your actual productivity, like the only thing you know how to do in that moment is train those zombies. <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine like after you've done your attempt and you've done it for like dozens. You're over just a dozen looking hours. at the wall and just like, why isn't it zombies? You have to like, you really probably. I wouldn't doubt that they do make you do like a hospitalization in order to like recover from stuff like that. Uh, maybe in really extreme circumstances. But honestly, people love neglecting their health uh, on the internet. So Twitch streamers will just, they'll they will go for 24 hours, 48 hours. They don't care. Well, it's... full disclosure, Bray, if we're being completely honest, you can't tell me that you haven't participated in extremely long Destiny sessions in order to try to attain very hard goals. Oh, yeah, I know. I definitely stayed up way too long for some of those world's first races. But at the same time, I'm glad I'm over that. Absolutely. Uh I'm not trying to, like, be hypocritical. I'm just saying, like, people will not... Like, with all the money that they're getting, you should go do a little check-in. Go do a mental health checkup. Yeah. Make sure you're all right after streaming for 48 hours. Right, like, for sure. Don't neglect yourself. Right. Like, I'm sure your fans don't want to see you Drink a bunch die. of water, go to the bathroom, take a shower, eat some really good food, and take a really long nap. That's yep. what I would suggest, you know. Ugh, I got the Gorgon 2. <laughs> I guess it's, I'll take it. It's Gorgon 2. The Gorgon... The, the Gorgonators. Gorgonators. Here we go. Let's... Where is the zombie? I feel like it's one of those situations where we've got to have some really great dialogue, and I'm waiting for the massive zombies, but we're only on round three, so is somebody possibly stuck somewhere, Bray? I was thinking that, but this map, I think they just spawn very far out, so it just takes so much longer for them I'm to get to. I'm not saying I'm like frustrated about that they're going to come in, because you know when, they, when they're ready to catch up, it's going to be quick. Oh yeah, they'll ramp very quickly around round seven or eight, and then, then you'll be like, can they slow down <laughs> right. again, please? <laughs> right. So you see these red barrels on the outside of the map? You can actually make them blow up. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little fun thing to do, and... Maybe it'll take out some zombies. I don't really know how much it affects them. Oh, man. We just need to get some more points and hit the box again. Yeah, we definitely got uh, some of our box car we're catching up recently. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Literally, I got... So, in when we played... Uh, what was it? The Giant. I got the Wonder Wall. And then, literally the next day, we record... Uh, what was it that we just recorded? Verrucked. And I got the Wonder Wall. Two, literally, that, those were the only zombie sessions I had played, really, in that time period. Yeah. And two games, back-to-back, -back, getting the Wonder Wall. That's pretty wild. I mean, so now all these, these Gorgon... Gorgons. Ugh, I keep saying Gorgons. <laughs> or, that's how you say it, right? Gorgon? 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 Like, like as in, like, uh, Zelda Gorgon? Is it Gorod? No, that's Goron. Gorgon. Gorgon is in Star Wars Gorgon? No, that's Gungan. Gungan. Yeah, you're thinking of all of the words that aren't Gorkin. That's awesome. Um, I think it's like uh, Greek mythology, maybe? We're going to say you're right. Instead of... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it is Greek mythology. I think um, uh, I think Medusa is considered a Gorgon. It's like just a classification of monster, possibly? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Call I'm of sure. Duty loves naming their guns silly things like that. Like the Titan or... I'm sure it's definitely an entry in the Dungeons and Dragons Monsters Manual. Oh, I'm, I'm sure everything's in the D and D Monsters Manual. Here we go. At least all like nothing poopy. No way me, no way me, no way me. Stop. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll take it. Hey, Maker's pretty solid. I want to get rid of this Gorgon. Get out of here, Gorgon. I kept it. <laughs> well, you also don't have many choices. Like, 
Right, I got the STG. I'm gonna rock with this haymaker though. Next thing somebody next time somebody wants to come up and mess tap with me, you. tap me on the shoulder. <laughs> like hey. A swift kick in the face. The problem with that is that I turn around to address him and then his buddy was like, Do you forget about me? <laughs> and that was the end of it. Yeah. Literally all it takes is you neglecting to see one zombie and then you're down. Like last time, Vrooked. Literally, I, I thought I was in the clear. I thought all of my zombies were getting shocked by the Wonder Waff, so I thought I was clear to pick you up. I was like literally a half a second off because one zombie starts sprinting around the corner and yeah. he's not affected by that electricity. No, he, he was just like, okay, I got this. Well, I mean, I always want my teammates to stay up. That's my number one goal. Like, sometimes I'll put myself in a bit of a compromising position just to try to pick them up, but I don't want them to sit around and watch me play. Right, it's fun I to want make them to play, too. Like, that's the whole appeal of playing with multiple people. And I would have friends who were so inconsiderate. We'd be playing, and, like, they would just keep advancing the rounds. I'd be like, dude, hold a zombie. Right. Dude, help me out. Please, can you weaken the zombie so I can get some points? It's such a high round. Like, you know, so... I always want to be the friend that's gonna be there and actually help you and teach you how to play and like show you show the map off and kind of let you know what to expect um but yeah some people are very inconsiderate and very selfish when they play zombies they're just like me 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 right. and they don't buy any doors that that's one of my least favorite things like we should be buying the same amount of doors right. or if you take all the kills and you have all the points then you open the door Absolutely. Like, <laughs> if I have way more points, then why shouldn't I be opening the doors? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me how you helping yourself is gonna be useful when we're a team. Like, oh, I got a nuke. Alright. I just love the simplicity on Noct. It's literally the box, the windows, um, I think upstairs is a Wonder Fizz machine, but, like, there's not many rooms, not too complicated, but I'm not gonna take that. <laughs> And let, dude, if this was multiplayer, oh man, the Locust, the best sniper in the game. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, the yeah. AK-74U is pretty solid. Sweet. We are playing side by side, so if you're wondering how I knew what he got and I was in the other room, it's because I'm watching his screen. It also kind of helps me... Uh, you know, show him how to get places or make decisions and stuff because I can see what he sees too. It's neat. I see like three or four zombies coming towards the window. <laughs> I was paying attention to that. Yep, and I'm yeah, down. That's funny. I I was oh literally looking gosh. on your screen and he's just like looking at zombies I, outside. <laughs> and while he's doing that, the zombies are literally pulling up and just destroying him. Uh, yeah, in Vipit's headquarters, we like to record, ah, re and, record it uh, all. Uh, okay, 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 Dad, Dad, focus up. You got this. Uh, I, I literally had the same thing happen to me. I was looking at your screen, and then I got distracted from my own screen. Trying to lower them the best I can. Upstairs, upstairs. Oh, do you have enough for that? Shit, turn around. Cover your back. You have, you have enough now. Open the door. Oh, man, red screened and all. Turn around. Gotta take the horde out. You got this, Dad. I believe in you. Do you know? I, there's still a decent amount down there. If I die, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't feel bad. All right, we're watching Dad now. There's an insta kill. All right, there should be only like one guy left. Two. Um. Waiting for that last guy. I'm gonna look in third person and watch just in case he sneaks up on you. He could be spawning upstairs, actually. To your left? There he is. Okay, turn around. To your right? There he is. Good right. good stuff, Dad. I, I got distracted. <laughs> that's alright, that's me mostly, so it's good that I can clutch that for you once in a while. Yeah. Alright, where should I go? Oh, man, I'm Frag more. grenades. No. We yeah. should stick up there. Um. It gets very crowded in the bottom layers, so if we go back here, never buy this door. Don't buy this door. Okay, got you. That's the one door we don't buy. We sit where the frags are, and is it something that's gonna open it up from both ends? And you yeah, then we have, would like... just have no spot to camp. Right, I got you. That makes sense. 
Yeah, so we're just going to take zombies out when they spawn and just kind of try to watch each other's backs. If you get like 1,500 points, uh, I would give a spin on the Wonder Fizz. You could possibly get Juggernog. It's the most important perk, really. Especially right, like so uh, on a map like this. Or a big spinning that at good sir. Um, let's wait until the end of this round so you don't get caught up. It's a kind of lengthy uh, animation. I got you. Yeah, they they definitely bait you when they do that. You're like, oh, it'll be instant, and then you're like, you're waiting on it. This room is filling up very quick. Oh, death machine, sweet. Um, seems like we're getting kind of close. It's thinning out. Yeah. You can tell very quickly when it's getting close to the end of the round in this map because, you know, they have to, they have to walk all the way from their designated spawn point. Um, it's gotta be pretty close. Maybe one or two more people? I gotta say, I like, uh, I like the pacing so far. Yeah, it's definitely more slow paced. Uh, it, like, gets you used to it. Maybe I should have started you here. There is kind of a reason that a lot of people start on Noct, but then again, uh, we started on Spaceland. I don't think many people's, or like, not we, you started on Spaceland, right? right? I don't think many people's first zombies experience was Spaceland. Personally, mine was town, so, you know, I'm used to town. Hit oh, this. I'm sorry, sorry. I, I for fine. completely forgot to tell you to do that. Um, what'd you get, what'd you get? Juggernog, yes! Pick it up, pick it up! Yeah. Awesome. <coughs> That'll give you an extra hit before you down. Pardon me. You're alright. That's just that old cold I gave you. <laughs> fun, fun for everyone. Exactly. Fun on the bun. Woo! <laughs> I can't really do a better impression. John uh, DiMaggio just has such a specific voice. Like, you gotta have that that depth. Alright, so there's a double point. Okay, that'll that'll be pretty good. Ooh, death machine. Yeah, if you if you see those bullets spawn on the ground, the blue bullet power up, um, that's a death machine. So it's pretty much just an infinite ammo uh minigun. That kills pretty much instantly regardless of round. So if you're looking low on ammo, that's always gonna be a really clutch uh choice. Alright. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, I'm almost out of ammo, though. There's a max ammo right there. You manifested it right there on the spot. Love it. Love it, love it. like to see it. Both my my guns are now fully reloaded. I literally was finishing out the clip of my... my uh, yeah, I should have asked before you reloaded, but... No, I, I finished it. Like, oh, it, it you were? It was perfect timing. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> My least favorite thing is when someone's not considerate and they just, like, pick up the max ammo. Well, because, like, that's a whole clip you could be missing out on. I mean, like... Oh, that guy's getting aggressive. He did get a little Yeah, aggressive. he was the last, the last one. Guy. Yeah, you could tell. Alright, um, why don't you give the Wonder Fizz another spin? Is it this stack? Oh, yeah, you can hold four. Alright, so it's number Come two. Come on, Widow's Wine. Oh. Pick it up. That's gonna be helpful. Quick revive, so if I go down, you can revive me faster. Nice. Uh, but I got the Ray Gun Mark II from the box, which I didn't even know that was among the guns available. Like, Ray Gun Mark II on Nocturne and Toten? Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the Mark II, though. I don't know why. I think it's because it, like, uh, pushes you back when you shoot it so like I'll be like running and then it'll like start pushing me back and it'll kind of slow me down Okay, so I feel like sometimes that's why I don't like it, but it's gonna have a drawback. I guess people really love uh, uh, Moving really quick on transit with it literally you can go faster than the transit bus by uh, propelling yourself backwards with the ray gun in black ops 2 You need some help up there, bud? Um yeah. Yeah, you're looking a little overrun. Insta kill. Wow. All right, 
it. Just checking the times. So I'm getting. Oh, oh shit. I'm getting overwhelmed. You watching my back? Yes. Am I good? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, unfortunately, you lost your perks, Dad. Oh man. It's all right. You shouldn't have gone for one in the middle of a round. <laughs> I just got. Is greedy. that what you were doing? No. I, not I looked at over all. and I just see the the <laughs> Wonder Fizz whirring and spinning up, and I'm like, oh, that I guess didn't... he's going for a little risky perk in the middle of this. That didn't happen at all. <laughs> Jeez. I should probably spin the the Wonder Fizz myself. Yeah, you fizz it up. Aw, oh, Deadshot Daiquiri? I mean, I guess. It gives you, like, just really extra aim assist, like... Did you gain an elusive level in your... I did. Last, uh, when we played Verrucked, I did get a level. Wow. <laughs> it barely goes up. Like, you'll, you'll rank up four or five times before I rank up once. Because once you hit Prestige Master, there's just, like... Each level after Prestige Master is just... It's crazy. It takes so much XP. Alright, so... What's the next... Uh, nuke. <laughs> Sorry, I had... Where's the box at? I probably, it's back downstairs. I should probably hit it, right? Yeah. You running low on ammo, or...? Yeah, yeah. that haymaker's almost empty. Come on. Give them... Wave gun. Wave gun. No. No. Or Thunder Gun, I meant. The Wave Gun is the gun from Moon, uh, which we haven't played yet. Don't get too comfy, Dad. <laughs> the zombies are all coming in droves, man. All right. Man, I can't wait to not be congested anymore. <sighs> I shouldn't say that. Sorry. That's all good. <laughs> Considering I passed my sickness off to you. Um, at the end of this round, I need to buy another perk. I'm just not willing to risk it right now, but Juggernog would look pretty attractive right now. Just have one more hit. Okay. This Man of War is actually pretty good with Deadshot. I feel like some guns just don't benefit as much. Um, Power-wise is, is great, but I just feel like I'm just re getting caught in the reload. Here, situation. kill that guy on the stairs here. I lowered him a bit. <laughs> Alright, go rebuild one barrier and hit the boss. That'll put you over and... Oh, Jug! Let's go. And I got a liquid divinium for it. Here we go. And... No. No. You were gonna do it, weren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I believe you, Dad. Just keep taking my totally. no ammo for my haymaker, though. I'm gonna go ballsy. I'm gonna hit the the wonder fence. Nobody, nobody, roll up on me. Shit, shit. I'm coming up there. Speed cola? Yeah, I love speed cola. Oh, they're coming up from both sides. Come on, reload, man. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm about out of ammo. I got 17 shots left. Like You're staying here 15. with me. I'm gonna try to lower some guys. Just kind of try to shoot where I'm shooting. This kind of give the, gives them a centralized point. Behind me. Oh, behind you? Where did he come from? I don't know. Oh, this I'm, door. There, I'm there's one. Out of ammo. There's one window. I can in go here. hit the box. Uh, I have no ammo. In, infinite or not infinite ammo? Uh, shit. Uh, insta kill. Okay. Sorry, I'm super flustered. Infinite ammo is a power up though in uh, Infinite Warfare zombies. No other zombies. Oh have come them. on! I got overwhelmed. I mean, I really, to be fair. I mean, yeah. There's. I have no ammo. Yeah, um, you can't eat, like, at, at this point, an insta-kill is only good to shoot the zombies anyways. Right. Like, so if you've got no ammo, it's not gonna help. Behind you, behind you. I gotta reload, man. I know. Running low. Alright. Box. Yeah, hit the box. Alright, it's a gun with ammo, is it? this? Versus the haymaker, yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright. 
Whew, I feel like I've been like with my back against the wall for a little bit here. Um, actually, next time you have enough money, buy the Cuda. Because then I you probably because can... about aim off the wall, right? Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. That's all right. I was also hoping that you get something like the jet gun. Yeah, or something. Something super powerful that'll kind of help you uh, catch up, considering uh, it's getting in the later rounds. I can't believe we're in round twelve. I can. All right. I guess we're just re rebounding from the last one. Yeah, but Verruckt is harder than this. Like, there's you still have to turn power on and go around and do things, whereas Noct is literally just play. The most basic zombies experience. Let like, go with the box. But that's why a map like Town is just like a little bit better version of this because like Town has pack a punch. So what this map doesn't have. You have lots of points. I, I, I almost down. just I got crushed. Yeah, I almost just got down. I need to reload. What was that? Nothing good. Argus. It's pretty good. Bye, Argus. <laughs> Watch it melt back into the box. Shit, they're spawning from behind me. Oh, no. I'm trying to clear him out, man. I gotta get him. Gotta get him. Dedicated. There you are. There's uh, the there's guy. Okay, I got another guy. And another guy. Yeah, there's a lot of guys. I'm I just shoot all my pistol ammo and... Okay, th there's the end of the round. Sweet. Whew. That was I was trying to just end the round as fast as possible because I know we were knew we were getting there, man. Like, jeez. Okay, hit right. the box. Hit the box. Hit the box. Something powerful, please. Oh, why did I pick it up? Why did you I pick it up? it up? No, I, no. <laughs> I was. Oh. Okay, I got my man of war back. All right. Okay, I got a fully, uh, full man of war. So that was worth it. Uh, I'm gonna go get another perk. All right. Is it too? Is it too late? Is it too late? Oh Shit, God! It's too late. It's too late. This guy's love. Uh, come on! Come on! Come on! Stamina up! Stamina up! Okay. I should. I brought up a bunch of people up here. Oh, you're bringing them up? A bunch of them. Don't bring them over there, Dad. Shit! 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 Oh, I thought I really could just like train them around the. the, 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 the yeah. Oh, there's crawlers. I really thought I was gonna be able to train him around this this pole, and I ran back too fast. And that shit, shit, oh shit! Oh, I'm gonna have to reload in a second. You're doing great. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, oh. man, dead shot, Dakery got me that time. <laughs> it auto aimed to the wrong spot. I knew I could hit if him. I wouldn't have gone all the way back, and then. I saw that that pole and I wanted to wrap around that pole but I went so far back and then like there was a dead end like they know they know that you get comfortable and like I was like okay all I have to do is go and go around that pole but when I went all the way back it basically like hooked me into a dead end yep <laughs> it's funny because like I, that's from a development point when they're making that map there's people that are smiling that that's what's their goal and yeah and that's exactly what I did he's like oh you didn't go all the way back there yes I totally did <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you went back to the camping spot but I here I was feeling comfortable for the first time I'm, I'm dad's gonna train some zombies i'm like nope <laughs> I, got, right, I was man. the guy in the movie that got mobbed in the corner <laughs> oh. man that was so much fun it was very simple it not was. a whole lot of steps but man, it's a good get your blood pumping for the session type yes app. in the future we're probably gonna play some knocked to warm up instead of shadows of evil that was fun yeah man uh thank you guys so much for sticking if you've made it all the way to the end of the video let us know down in the comments just brag about it because yeah. that's cool you know, uh, how about your fit? How about the highest round that you've made? In yeah, what is your maps? highest personal round in with, map. with friends or solo? That'd be uh, cool. But that's been Bray and Brian from the VidBits. Love you guys. Hey, peace. Peace.